This car is ideal for the role of anti-crisis proposals in the secondary market. It is inexpensive to buy and maintain, strong, reliable and unpretentious. And what is simple in appearance, so maybe it's for the best. In its past life, the Kia Sportage was a compact, but uncompromising frame SUV with a rigid beam axle and a reduction gear in the transmission. Moreover, he was not at all distinguished by outstanding reliability, there were even jokes about his fragility. But in the second generation, the car seemed to have been replaced. Maybe a fundamentally different, more lightweight scheme with a simplified transmission, a monocoque body and independent suspensions of all wheels affected. Or has the Korean automotive industry entered a new, higher quality stage of development? Be that as it may, the second spoilage turned out to be quite reliable. The crossover was sold with gasoline engines, a 2.0 liter, 4, 142 horsepower, and a 2.7 liter V6, 175 horsepower, as well as a 2.0 liter turbo diesel, 140 horsepower. Diesel versions were not officially supplied to us. Therefore, in the secondary, the vast majority are gasoline modifications. The standard gearbox is a 5-speed mechanics, which was originally installed with 4-cylinder engines. And with the V6, only a 4-speed automatic was combined. As is usually the case with Koreans, in addition to Sportage, there was also its technical counterpart from Hyundai, Tucson. The cars are built on a common platform, but outwardly they differ noticeably. Inside, there are fewer differences. In the Russian market, Koreans traditionally offered a lot of cars and equipment for little money. When selling the Kia Sportage, this principle was also preserved. The officially sold crossovers were with full-power accessories, heated glass and mirrors, ABS and EBD, air conditioning, regular music, etc. Variants with V6, as a rule, came with an automatic transmission, leather interior, electric sunroof and climate control. There are cars with xenon headlights, cruise control, rain and light sensors. Corrosive owners of the Kia Sportage will certainly complain about the weak paintwork and will be absolutely right. But the body is indifferent to corrosion. As for engines, the 2.0 liter is reputed to be durable, but demanding on the quality of fuel and oil. Because of what prematurely it is necessary to change candles, high voltage wires and ignition coils. At risk are also oxygen and mass airflow sensors. After 100,000 kilometers, the converter may fail and the engine radiator may leak. The service life of the timing belt is 90,000 kilometers. And it is better to comply with this regulation, the consequences can be very serious. V6 proved to be more tenacious. True, the timing for replacing the timing belt is set at 60,000 kilometers. The engine is heat loaded, so it is more demanding on the cleanliness of the radiator. And when replacing the candles of the left row, difficulties arise associated with the dismantling of the exhaust manifold. The mechanical box is durable. The machine can easily withstand 200,000 kilometers. And then you have to repair the valve body and change the clutch package. In the suspension, the stabilizer struts, hub bearings and support ones do not differ in survivability. Engine. Gasoline engines perfectly digest fuel with an octane rating of 92, which does not mean at all that it should be of poor quality. Rather the opposite. If you are unsure about a recent timing belt update on a used Sportage, replace it for sure. Otherwise, you can get to repair, replace, the head of the block. And a long ride with misfires, attention to candles and high voltage wires, will lead to damage and replacement of a far from cheap converter. Transmission. On manual transmissions worn out by time and loads, synchronizers of the first and second gears may wear out ahead of time. Repair, from 17,000 rubles. The oil in the manual gearbox is updated every 90,000 kilometers just like in the machine. If the automatic transmission was not raped, the box can withstand 200,000 kilometers or more. A refurbishment brings it back to life. Front suspension. It has McPherson struts in its design. There are practically no weak points in it. Even the stabilizer struts and bushings can withstand 50,000 kilometers. Approximately the same amount was released to the thrust bearings of the shock absorber struts. Ball joints ask for rest at 80,000 to 100,000 kilometers and in the steering at this time it is necessary to change the ends of the rods. Rear suspension. Due to the wear of their silent blocks, the levers will have to be changed only at the turn of 120,000 to 150,000 kilometers. And before that, stabilizer struts and bushings a couple of times, and sometimes shock absorbers. K. 
calipers begin to wedge at this run. If disassembly and lubrication do not help, you have to buy new parts.